everyone. Welcome back to Pam's Wig Adventure. This is your first time here. I'm so glad you joined me. If you're watching me from Paula Young Wigs Fan Club, then welcome on Facebook. Um, then welcome. I'm hoping that you'll come over to see me on Pam's Wig Adventure. And if you're watching me from Pam's Wig Adventure, then I'm hoping that you'll come over to Facebook and join us. I'm a moderator in Paula Young Wigs Fan Club in Facebook. It is a private group, but if you answer the questions, um, we will let you in. Um, so to get started, I just wanted to jump on. This is not going to be reviews. This is just, I got some hair mail and I wanted to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to kind of just show a couple of basics. I'm not going to do a lot of things to make them wearable because those are other videos that I'll do, but I wanted to just kind of take you to Young. So I went to Paula Young, the actual um, store last Saturday and met Beth, um, the admin of the Paula Young Wigs fan club. We had a ball and tried on all of these different wigs in different colors. So the purchase that I made right now are some of the colors that I really liked. Um, I did not get the wigs that I tried on those that day, but I did get some of the colors. And so the first things I wanna take you through, isn't this one so much fun? This is from the, especially, I have three from the Especially Yours line, and I wanted to show some of those because I don't think that we ever really put any emphasis on these. So this is my dream hair. This is what I spent growing up getting perms to have. Um, it's a, it's crazy, right? This is crazy, but I love it. When I tell you I love it, and this is my dream hair, um, I wore it as soon as I came home today. I wore it out to run an errand. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll be brave enough to wear it anywhere, where, anywhere else. Even if I just wear it around the house, I love this wig. This is Magnolia. Um, she does have a lace front. I'm going to show you some of that stuff in a minute. But um, the curls are gorgeous. It looks like a lot of hair, but the curls, it's light. Very, very light. And they're very soft, small curls. It's not, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not kinky. It's very soft curls. And obviously I got a little bit of work because this, um, you know, I'm going to have to, let me just see for a minute if she'll do it. So hold on a second. Let me just see. I'm going to see if she'll go back because this, um, I had her parted in the middle previously, but I moved it just, something wasn't looking right. So I put her a little bit to the side and that helped. But this piece here is, um, definitely, I need a little, I need a little of this hair. Let's see if that'll work. Anyway, this is Magnolia. I'm going to turn around so you can see how gorgeous she is. I know it's not everybody's style and it's not everybody's things, but let me enjoy my dream hair. So here she is on the side. Let me take you to the back. You know, it's very loose, very, very, oh, the curls are just gorgeous. Let me take you to the other side and then back again. All right, so let's look at her cap. She is a lace. Ugh. Let me see if I could show you. I cut it already, but this this was a very long, you know, it's, it's a little darker. Um, and I do have some spray that you can do to make it smaller or um, make the tint lighter because it's uh, meant for darker skin tone. But here's the lace. It, it does go, I want to say temple to temple, right? So it's pretty, pretty wide. And I used pinking shears to cut it down. Um, when it's on, you, to me, you can't really tell, but let me turn her inside out. Um, it does have the clips that I don't really like. All of you have, all you have is just a little bit of the lace in this front part. So the, the part area is a little small, but that's not too bad. And then you just have a basic cap. Um, you do have closed the ear. It's not really the ears. Let me show you the ears a little closed hopefully we have some women on that are using the especially yours line looks like they have like some of the hair sewn into the air tabs and that's okay and then we do have velcro straps and we do have an extended nape now the color that i have is called df475 it's a warm medium brown with a caram caramel copper 
And then this is what it looks like in the book. So here she is in the book, Magnolia. So this is Magnolia. Isn't she fun? Ladies, I just wanna tell you this, have fun. I would strongly encourage you, I challenge you actually, I challenge you to give yourself permission to step outside of the box. Step outside of what rules you think there are based on age or your face shape or your face color or your face this or your face that or your hair this or your, you know, forget about all that. I challenge you to give yourself permission to step outside of the box. Do what makes you happy. If you feel happy and you feel good and you really want to do it, but someone somewhere said 65 can't wear long and you got to wear short and you got to do this and you got to be, you can't wear brown anymore and you got to wear blonde and you got to, forget it. They don't live your life. They don't pay your bills. Don't let society norms or society dictate your happiness. This is hard. We have hair loss, right? Embrace it. Enjoy it. Find something in it that changes your life. Allow it. Let it. This could be so much fun. It could wake it up things in you that are different that you would never experience if you didn't have hair loss. So that's my challenge for you today. I challenge you to step outside of the box, break the walls down in your mind, give yourself permission to wear whatever you wanna wear. Okay, so that is Magnolia from the Especially Yours line. And now I have Frankie. Frankie, I did not cut the lace on, so I'll show you her first. So this is what Magnolias look like. You see, so it's longer. So it has the lace front. We'll do the cap first. And again, I'm just doing quick try-ons. I'm not gonna fluff, none of that. So that it does have the lace all the way up to the part in here. You have, again, basic cap, extended nape, Velcro. This one has the same type of ear. And it's got these clips in it that I know, I have no hair, so I'm probably gonna take them out. Um, so that's it, that's it for the cap. And the the hair feels, um, this is the, the uh, let me show you what she looks like. So this is the picture in the book. And this, the hair feels silky. It feels so silky. And this is obviously black. I did my black ones first, my dark ones first, because everybody last time saw all the blonde and then it was like harsh to see the black or the darker. So I'm doing my darker ones first. Um, this is 01B and the color is called Raven. So let's put her on. And I'll tell, I tell you, there's one little thing that I'm not that crazy about. And that is this part. This part, there's nothing you could do to change it. It's sort of the type of part that's sewn in, which makes me feel a little bit like an Amazon wig. Um, but I don't think it looks that fake though. That's the thing. So not going to do crazy, you know, va va vooming of it, but you, you know, I can't help myself. So, and this piece here, I think I tried it on a little bit, but she's really cute. This needs, a, this got a little bit of hair stuff here. So I would actually, so there's no, I forgot to mention, there's really no permatees in that other one. There's no permatees right here. None at all. There's none in the back. But on this side, do I feel permatees? Yes. So this side, oh, eating my hair. This side is all full of permatees here, which to me is a little unbalanced. So I'm going to wake this up a little bit. Oh, and I didn't really give her a good shake. I think I gave her a good shake when I took them out before. Yeah, so she's going to need a little bit of work to make her a little wearable. This little piece here has fallen a little bit. But I don't think she's bad. Um, I think I paid... Uh, I didn't pay more than $29.99. These are the ones that were clearance. And I think, I think it was 40% uh, off clearance. But you had to pick clearance, so the it was a little limited. 
and I bought these off wig.com. So here, here is Frankie. And let me show you all sides. See this, I've got to cut the lace, but this part right here, I don't like how this is falling. So this is, we got to do something with this. And I can't change this. So it doesn't look too bad. Like you may be able to pluck it a little bit and put some, um, some product in there. Let me see if I got her on right. Yeah, I got her ear to ear. Where am I? Yeah, I got her up a little too high. Let me pull her, oh, I, I don't wanna touch the lace. I know I shouldn't do that, don't yell at me. Yeah, but this is, some. so something's a little funky here, so I'll have to play with her. But, all right, let me turn around. So here she is on the side. Here she is on the back. Very silky. Here's this side here. And then back to the front. I think she's cute. I like her. I like the dark colors too as much. I don't really, I'm just getting into the blondes. My preference is the dark colors. This is Frankie. Okay. And then I had one that I had before because I really didn't realize that it was in a, there was another line called Especially Yours. So I had one, her name is K. So I wanted to just try her on really quick for you guys so that you can see a just a little bit for the especially yours ladies that are out there. So this is Kay. Let me show you what she looks like on here. I thought this was so cute. Rem reminds me of Maya and Deidre, all of those ladies. So I wanted to try that. Let me show you her cap before we put her on. She has a basic cap, so no lace in the front. So we've got basic. We've got, uh, it looks like a little bit like a open air tabs. We do have the extended nape with Velcro and then just all open wefts. Okay, just regular basic cap here. Okay. And let me, oh wait, I think Elizabeth likes to see the part um, I may have messed her up already, but here is the part. Um, okay, let me just put her on for you. You can tell maybe I might have been, I might have shook her a little bit. But this... Her name again is K, and the color on K is TT1BK360. It's an almost black with ash and platinum gray. So if you calm her down a little bit, there. this is all permatees right here. Lots of permatees. Actually, this all around the back. So those of you who don't like permatees, uh, probably not going to like her. Um, I don't think I have her on right, so how about we put her on at the right spot? All right, that's a little better. All right, and so she's got a little bit of the, the cut, the diagonal cut here. Okay, I've calmed her down a little bit. So you can see you can get a little bit of the craziness and poof if you want, or a little bit of the calm. And let me show you all sides. So this is the one side and you can see that it's going down a little bit with the cut. I think the back is really cute. If I get my hands out of the way and then this again, you can see it kind of coming diagonal. Okay. So I just wanted to show you really quick. This again was K from the N, especially your line. All right. So now let's get into the blondes. So we're going to start with Floor. And I got her in Honey Blonde. So she's a real long one. And I know I think it's funny because Beth, I think, um, is doing a bunch of similar ones. So some of this may be repetitive, but um, you guys all said you wanted me to do it. So I'm going to just do it. So Floor's a little long. And I don't know if you could see, so this, this is the Honey Blonde. 
I don't know how, you know, if my lighting is good. This is the Honey Blonde, okay? Let me show you. She's got some monofilament part. Doesn't say that she is the Versify. No, she's not. Uh, so she's not Versafiber and she's not the Whisper Light. A couple of these are Whisper Light. So here's the part. Not too much crisscross. Doesn't feel like there's any permatease up there. So it looks pretty good, right? A lot of flyaways. So let's see what the cap is. Yep, so she's got an extended back with the Velcro. She's got the velvet ears. She's got some monofilament part, monofilament part up here. So she's got this hair and then all of this. Okay. That's the front of her and no lace though. All right, so I have to give them a good shake. Got to get some volume. And when I say shake, I mean shake these babies. You know, it's more like a, not even a shake, it's like a, I don't know how to call it, how to explain what I do, what I like to do anyway. All right, so let's see floor. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, isn't she pretty? Oh, she's gorgy. She is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. So she doesn't have a lot of, I like, you know, I like the permatease because I like volume. She's got permatease in the back. Why does she have permatease in the back when I need the permatease hair? I feel just not a lot, just tiny, tiny bit, I would say. Not enough to give me some voom. So let's, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Got a little bit of, uh, what do they call these? Um, I forgot what they call these kind of bangs. All right, so I would definitely have to do something with that. Let me see how far I could go with the part. Let me change it just a tiny bit. See if I could get some of this. Curtain bangs, that's what it is, right? Those are called curtain bangs. No, I don't want it in the middle. No, that's not the right way. They're not the right either. All right, let's see what that does. Just a tiny, I just want to move it just a tiny bit. Yeah, so I'm going to have to take some, um, I'm either going to blow dry it, I'm going to have to play around with the part. Let me see. I'm going to do this a little bit. See if I could get some of that to get a little lift. That's what Taz usually does, right? Yeah, see, that, see that's how I like it. See, see how that's going? Yeah, see this is coming too, too far down here. So I want her to be a little more. So I'm gonna keep doing this. So I may have to, if I can't get her to, to um, do what I want, then I will take my hot airbrush and get it to go like I want. But I'm gonna to have to play with the part to see, because I don't think it's falling exactly where I want it. Yeah, she's not falling exactly where I want it. Let me see. You see, this got like a little bit of box hair, definitely on this side. She wants to go. Oh, but this is gorgeous. So this was Honey Blonde color 16 let me just show you okay so this is the side it's very long I don't even know if you could see it all but you see all the permatease back here I don't know if you could even see the length and then we've got the side again and then back to the front so this yeah, so I need like this. Oh, I'm pulling her up way too high. I like mine to be a little lifted up here. 
So I will play with her a little. Oh, she's get. Oh, she's getting there. She's got to behave so I could wear her. Oh yeah, she's getting there. See, ladies, you got to just play with them a little bit. Um, don't be afraid to play with your waves, with your waves, with your wigs. Um, I'm not as brave as some of you that cut into them, so you guys are ahead of me with that. But she's definitely starting to listen a little bit to how I want her to go. But this is Floor. Definitely, um, this is Honey. Honey Blonde. So hopefully you can see the color. And she's not rooted. I may have to root her a little bit. I got my root spray and then came in the mail. And then I do have that wow stuff that I used on red carpet. All right, this is Floor. I can't stop playing with her. I love her. I love this. I love it. All right. So now we are going to go real quick to um, Josie. I did Josie in the Honey Blonde as well. So um, I think you guys know her. I'm going to do, it's just really basic cap, extended, open ear, the Velcro. So I think we've seen Josie's cap a number of times. Um, really, it's showing you guys more for the color. I know that Beth has done um, Josie a few times, but wanted you guys to see the color. I'm gonna shake her up a little bit, see what we could get. And now, let's see how she looks on me. All right, so where does she want to part? Where does she want to part? Nope, I don't like that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to play with her. But she's cute. All right, so you see the honey? Uh, we don't have a lot of permatees in this one either. But she's cute. I like her in the honey. The honey blonde. I keep saying honey. This is honey blonde. I got Josie and honey blonde. And then here is, and then I've got to, you know, I've got to make her wearable. This is me just, you know, getting her just a little bit. Yeah, she's got to get really fluffed up, sprayed with water, you know, play with the part a little bit. Play with the curls, but what do you think? I like her on me. I like the honey blonde. Let me show you. Let me show you the back. Okay. This is Josie. Then the next one I got was Mariah and Mariah, Mariah, I got in honey. So Mariah's in honey. Um, let me show you. She's got a lot of crisscross. So Elizabeth, she's got her part and she's got bangs. I would see a little bit more crisscross part in this one. Uh, she's basic cap. Yeah. Same, you know, basic is the same one. Open air Velcro. Extended nape, so basic stuff. We give her a good shake. Okay, let's see what we got with Mariah. Oh, I love this color. The honey, I'm sweating like crazy in here. The honey, I, oh, I love honey on me. I just love this color. I don't know if you can see it. I love this color. So I'm going to need Beth to come and do my bangs because I'm a little scared to cut bangs. So Beth, you're going to have to come. I'll come zhuzh your thing and you come cut my bangs, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> but this is Mariah. Let me see if I lift her up a little bit. Very cute. She's not too long. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's not too long. 
to me, it's almost like some of these, you know, just like we just had with Josie's, almost similar similar um, curls and just with a bang. You know, she's not that long. So let me show you the sides. A little bit of the back. And this side. And then back to the front. She's cute, right? I like her. I love this color. I love honey. Really love honey. All right. And then the next one I got is this new color that we tried on that fell in love with. This is called, and I don't think everything is in this because this one here is a whisper light. This is golden light. So it's the SF613 slash 14. So do you see it? Let's see if you can see. I don't know if my lighting is good enough in here, but it's real pretty. Okay, and she actually, let me show you, she has a lace front. So she's got a lace front, she, they says with a hand tied, open cap, open weft, Okay, she does not have an extended nape. Okay, so she's got a regular nape and still the Velcro. This is River, I'm sorry, this is River. And River, let me show you River. So River, I tried her on really quick when she came yesterday and um, she was not falling the way I expected her to fall. So uh, I don't know if I've got Oh, if River's got a problem, River's got permatees, but which way? Okay, this is better. Yeah, she, yesterday she was not behaving. Yeah, see, what is this? What is this? Like what, what is, this is all bent. So she's gonna take a little work. I'm not that crazy about this one on me, but let me see. Cause this part, like something's wrong here. Definitely something is wrong here. Right, something is wrong. So we're gonna have to fix these pieces so it's like a shorter bob see now I don't think I look good in this like this short hair on me I'm not that crazy about it at all I do not think this looks good on me I love the color and I'll make this work but this is not like yeah see what the heck it's not falling right at all at all Maybe it's more of a center part. Where does this want to go? Maybe it's supposed to go the other side. Let's see, we'll keep going. Let's keep going with the part. All right, so maybe. I don't know, ladies. Does anybody have River? Does anybody have River out there? Okay, I think I might found, I think I had her totally on the wrong side. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I think this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna give her a little bit more. A little bit more. She needs a little work, can you tell? Yeah, I think this is the side that it's supposed to be the part on. Definitely, she's got a lot of box hair, I'll tell you that. A lot of box hair, she needs a lot of work. Hold on a second. I got to do this. Because 
I am not liking this one at all. She's got to be saved. Can we save her? No, she's coming together a little bit. I love this color. The golden lights, can you see it? It's beautiful. The color is beautiful. The wig I chose it on, mm, but it's coming together. Coming together. All right, let me show you some of the sides. So here's this. I don't know if you're gonna see in the back. It needs some boom. And then we got this side. I think I'm close to how she's supposed to be worn again, right? Let's see, if I hold the picture upright, she's supposed to be on the other side, but she was not going that way. See, even this piece here, you see it? Like it wants to go over here. So I'm gonna have to keep playing with her. I would put some John Renault in here, spike her up a little bit. All right, so this is River. Again, Golden Lights, and Golden Lights is the SF613-14. All right, ladies, that was it. Um, that was all my hair mail. Just a quick, you know, try it on. Wanted you guys to see. Put your thoughts down below. Um, if there are any special wigs that you guys want um, to see and you want to see, co or you want to see colors, let me know and I could record something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Um, happy holidays. If um, I don't get to see you or talk to you on Facebook, uh, join us on the Paulie Young Wigs Fan Club page on Facebook. We would love to have you. It's growing. It's such a wonderful group of ladies. I'm a moderator over there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Bye.